We have noticed a significant decrease in his progression. This is really scary and it's really difficult. the house of hughes and welcome back to another video i hope that you guys enjoyed that cute little intro with the kids this morning hunter also got some footage while i was at the gym so you guys know the drill i'm gonna go ahead and insert that here for you what are you doing Say thank goodness for those locks, huh? Oh, oh. Here come, here come, here come. You okay? Yeah. They get pinched a little bit in there? Oh, come here. Oh. A lot of you guys asked to just kind of see the kids and like watch them, which is Rachel and I's favorite thing. We love to just like observe the children and see what they do, because they'll do the most random thing and every single thing they do is adorable and like impressive. Like, Blakely is so smart for throwing away her diaper. Smartest girl in the world. It's just so cute. The little random things that she does and the way she thinks. And Beckham too. I mean, Beckham will crawl around and reach for something and grab it and start chewing on it. Now he's literally just 
laying on his back, biting his sleeve and laughing. You guys can hear him laugh. Oh goodness, oh goodness. No, we don't, we don't step on heads. That's okay. No, Blakely, Blakely, please don't step on his head. Please don't step on his head, because that's your brother, and we want the best for him, not the worst. Hey, Blake, hey, hey, look at me. Dad. She's never been in timeout, but maybe we need to start instituting that. If you, if you go to step on his head again in front of the viewers, okay, all right, come on. Come on, nope, come on, come on. This is what we're gonna do as a punishment. Sit down, sit down, sit down please. Okay, she's listening really well. Yeah, okay, now <laughs> she just keeps doing it. Um, okay, I'm not loving this. I'm gonna have to look up like what's an appropriate, nope, okay, <laughs> you're done. What's an appropriate punishment for an 18 month old little girl? Okay, hey, hey. Can you explain to the people why you felt it was necessary to step on Beckham's face four times? Please. Did he do something to you? Because he's pretty easy going. No, hey, no Blakers. Come on, I know, I know you're having fun. But we don't step on Beckham's head, okay? We love Beckham. Okay? Okay. Hey, Bubba's. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Hey! <laughs> You're kidding. Okay. I haven't watched the footage yet, but I think that Hunter said something about like Blakely and Beckham getting in like a cute little tiff. And you know what, at this age it's always cute because there's no malicious intent. So I'm just kind of soaking that up while it lasts. Hunter is actually going to be in today's vlog, which is super exciting. I know that you guys love his commentary. You love when he gets to join us. The wind speeds outside are a little bit too high for him to legally spray, so he will be home with us today. Today's vlog is going to be uplifting, happy, positive, even though our title today and what we're gonna be chatting about is a little bit more on the disappointing side, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I just wanna keep you guys filled in. You guys have obviously been on this entire feeding journey with us when it comes to Beckham, and I really just wanna talk to you guys about what we're kind of experiencing, and I also wanna talk about it like in real time, because obviously things change like really, really quickly. Beckham will take a few steps forward, and then sometimes he'll take a couple steps backwards, and I think it's really important that we acknowledge when things are difficult and that we also celebrate every single victory that we have moving forward. So we're gonna be chatting a little bit today about some steps backward that we've taken since Beckham got his G-tube. And it's interesting, I will get more into this in a minute. I'm actually gonna wait for Hunter to get out of the shower because I do want Hunter to chat with us. But it's just difficult because I still feel like we made the right decision with the G-Tube. So that's what I'm going to say right now. But as soon as Hunter gets out of the shower, we are going to chit-chat about that. And then, of course, we're going to be vlogging today with the kids and just kind of have a fun family day. I think we're going to run some errands and we will take you guys with us. My OGs know we used to go to Trader Joe's like literally every vlog. And I think we're going to go to Trader Joe's today. And you guys always know we find like the best little snacks to try and always do like live taste tests on our channel. So I think we might do that today. Hunter also was trying to find a babysitter for tonight for us to go out because we have been trying to prioritize date nights. I talked to you guys about this a couple videos back and so we're really working on that and it has just been wonderful and I'm excited for us to do a little date night. We are going out tomorrow night but we're gonna be with some friends so we wanna make sure we have some like one-on-one -on -one time. But there's also like a new Netflix show that came out that we're like dying to watch. So even if we don't find a babysitter, then I think we might have like a little date night in. Ooh, and order DoorDash or something. That would be really fun. Honestly, guys, if you're like looking for ideas and you don't want to spend money or you have kids at home, honestly, creating like a cute little cozy date night at home sometimes is even better than going out. So I'll see what Hunter thinks about us possibly doing that today. I can hear Hunter's TV show playing while he's in the shower, but I haven't told him yet that I want him to film with me, but he's always so supportive you guys know hunter just like supports my dreams 100 which is so sweet and i used to be like 
honestly a little bit like embarrassed or maybe just a little bit timid to be like, obviously it's my dream to have a really successful YouTube channel, but you know what? I'm not ashamed to say that anymore because I really feel like the power of manifestation is really strong and I only want to talk positive things into my reality. And so I'm really grateful that he supports my dreams. Husband of the year. You know how Blakely has an obsession with my Stanley Cups? Well, they have little mini ones on their website. I think that I should get her one. Like I totally should, right? It's so cute. Like she tries to carry around my big ones and they're just a little bit too much. So she spills them all over the place, but she's like obsessed. So I feel like I need to buy a couple small ones for her. Chloe, do you want to say hi to the vlog? Chloe has been my little cuddle buddy lately. She always sleeps with me at night and it's just so sweet. She used to sleep with daddy, but now she sleeps with mama. <laughs> so freaking sweet. She's so cuddly and I think we need to get her a little groom soon, huh? It's hard because I love when her hair is long. It's just like so cute and she looks like a little teddy bear, but I don't like it to get in her eyes because then I feel like it kind of bugs her. Hunter Hughes. What? I want to film together. I love it. Well, you do. <laughs> this is a family channel. Did you guys just hear that man? I literally cannot. I cannot. That man is never wearing pants. And you know what? To punish him, I'm just gonna stop editing him out of footage and maybe he'll learn how to dress. <laughs> he looks so innocent over there. Okay, guys, we need to have a little chit chat. And like I said, I still want this vlog to be super positive and super uplifting because I'm in a really good mood today and we do not want to bring that mood down, okay? I already have enough anxiety as it is. So I just want to update you and talk to you about a couple things that, <laughs> not Hunter over there, literally putting pants on. Can you guys hear him? Hunter can kind of jump into this convo if he wants. So you can jump in Hunter if you want to. But basically I want to talk to you guys about Beckham's eating habits and what we've kind of noticed since getting the G-tube. And although yes, the G-tube has given us so much help and it's really, really helped Beckham's weight increase and he obviously has more energy, Beckham is overall so much happier and we are so ecstatic about that. So that is like set aside. We still full heartedly believe that. We are still so grateful for that, but we have noticed a significant decrease in his progression with his oral feeds. And I personally believe that that is solely because he is way more full than he usually is and he's not hungry. So he doesn't have like this drive and motivation to eat by mouth because he's never hungry. And it's really difficult as his mom to be like, okay, I obviously want him to gain weight and get enough food and reap all the benefits of us overfeeding him just slightly, obviously in a really safe way. And like you guys know, we're working with a nutritionist on that. But then on the other hand, if I give him like a significant amount of time between feeds, he eats way better orally because he's so much more hungry. So I also want him to improve in his oral feeding skills. And it is just so tough to feel like I always have to pick. I feel like I'm always like stuck between a rock and a hard place. And it's just, really, really difficult because I obviously wish that I could just do both. Kind of circles back to just feeling like I have such a lack of control. And Hunter and I were chatting and we were just like, you know, sometimes you have to just pick like one thing to focus on. And right now we're just really trying to focus on the fact that it is so convenient that he can be fed through a G-tube. Honestly, it has already blessed our life in so many ways. He rarely wakes up crying anymore, and I think a lot of that has to do with him being full. He is also scooting around this house like a little madman, and the G-tube has not like affected his tummy time, which is fabulous. And I love seeing him have more energy. He's also more talkative. You guys have commented and are constantly telling me that he's looking more plump, which is just fabulous. There are so many benefits to him getting enough food. And at the end of the day, that is what's most important. Like it kind of circles back to fed is best no matter how he's fed. Of course though, there is also just the factor of wanting him to accomplish everything that he possibly can and as early as he possibly can. And I wanna know that when he is 10 years old, he is going to be sitting with us eating a piece of pizza. And you know what, like the reality is, is I just can't know that right now. And I can believe that and I can have faith in that. It is just so difficult 
to have to wait and be patient. You know, it's so interesting because I've just never experienced patience like this and I'm forced into it and it's really, really freaking hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's obviously hard because more is at stake than will ever be when it comes to my baby. He's my child. I would do literally anything to know with a surety that he is going to walk, talk, eat, and be able to accomplish all of the things that he desires in life. But I cannot know that. I cannot have that guarantee. Like that is part of having faith in God. So I just have to sit back, and relax and be patient and that is so much easier said than done. I know that I have shown you guys when I've gotten frustrated during his feeds and the reason that I show you that is because I think it's important not to hide that it's freaking hard. It can be so difficult because I want him to progress. Of course I do, it would be abnormal, it would be concerning if I didn't. So as I've watched him eat less and less by mouth, it has concerned me and I am nervous. I am scared, but you know, I'm trying really hard not to cry in every freaking video. I've also said freaking like a million times. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I'll try to edit a lot of them out, but I'm trying not to get so emotional all of the time. I do enough crying off camera. The last thing you guys need to see is it on camera. And Hunter is also noticing, you know, some big setbacks with oral feeding. And I think I'm kind of just like, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna stay positive. And I also wanted to have this talk while Beckham was asleep because I just, I don't wanna bring that spirit next to him. I also don't want to manifest anything negative. I also just don't want him to hear me ever talk negatively about his progression. I fully believe that he understands a lot more than we even realize. So I'm trying really hard to be really cautious and careful about how we speak to each other, about what we talk about when it comes to Beckham's development. And I just want him to be filled with all of the positivity and all of the love and all of the light that he can possibly be filled with. So just a couple little details, like when it comes to his actual feeds, now that I've kind of given you guys like an overview of like how I feel about it and just kind of where we're at. Basically, we are still feeding him by mouth first, every feed, and then giving him a G-tube feed after he eats by mouth. That is still like the plan of action that we need to take. That's gonna be like our best bet on getting him to eat the most orally that he can and then just filling him up afterwards. But I also have to take a second and be like, okay, it's only been like a month. So this could totally be temporary. And I just need to have faith. Like, you know what? We might just be having like a little hiccup. You know, I don't need to be terrified. I don't need to feel like, oh my goodness, he's gonna stop eating by mouth because you know what, he's not. We're just having like a tiny little hiccup right now and it's gonna be totally, totally fine. But he is taking like less and less. Like it's kind of hard to get him to eat a whole packet. And then it's like, well, we have to give him the G2 because I'm not willing to compromise his health. Like I have to give him a full feed. Fortunately, because of my background in nutrition, like I understand the body, I understand your metabolism. And so I know that if we continually overfeed him in a slight surplus, as recommended by his doctors, that his metabolism will continue to get faster and faster and he'll actually require more food. So I think we're just kind of in that phase where his metabolism hasn't caught up with how much we're feeding him and it will, it totally will. And everything is going to turn out just fine. So even though it's difficult sometimes to be hopeful and faith-based when you feel like you're in the process of taking a couple steps backwards, that is what we are going to do. We are going to stay hopeful and continue to have faith that he is just going to soar and exceed. And Hunter and I sometimes just like have to have our moments where we're like, this sucks and we are really scared. You know, sometimes Hunter and I just like have to have our moments where we're like, this is really scary and it's really difficult. And a lot of times my mind just gets really wrapped up in will he be able to talk? Will he be able to walk? Will he be able to eat? And it's really difficult to take a deep breath because like I said, he's my child. Those are concerns that are worthy to keep me up at night and they do. Sometimes I just have to sit back and go like, you know what, I'm just a person, you know? I'm just a person and it's okay, I'm a good mother and me being as worried as I am is a testament that I'm a good mother because it's easy to get caught up in the little things and go, 
Am I feeding him enough? Am I challenging him enough? Did I make the right call? You know, so much is placed on your shoulders when you're his primary caretaker. And aside from that, even just your attitude, it's like, oh my gosh, does he feel my negativity? And it's just, it's hard. There's just like so much that goes into it. But you know what? I'm confident that you guys are gonna get an update soon. And I'm gonna be like, you guys, We've done a 180, everything is going great. My little babe is eating two packets every meal. And you know what? That is what's gonna happen. And so if you wouldn't mind just sending up a prayer for our little guy that he'll continue to eat by mouth, that would seriously mean so much to me. I know I said the hunter was gonna be in this little chit chat, but honestly, he took too long to get out of the shower. And then I was like, you know what? You'll just be in the rest of the vlog. So I'll just chat with you guys and then you guys will get to laugh. You guys know I'm always giving you all the serious emotional stuff and then Hunter brings in the laughter into our vlogs. So we'll let him make you laugh in a minute. <laughs> Guys, my little Blakely, you know how she loves going up in the windowsill of like our really big windows? Well, I don't know if you guys have seen her, if we've caught it very often on camera, but she like loves to play with like the actual blind or like the automatic blind that actually comes down. And the one that she always plays with isn't working. And the blinds were really expensive and I'm just like, ah, so I hope that like just the battery died in the motor or something that is not actually broken because heaven knows that I'm not buying another one. So I'm really hoping that I can get it to go up but right now I can only have like the two top ones up, which is like not that big of a deal, but obviously natural light really helps my work and stuff. And I definitely think my videos are always light enough so it's not a big deal that I'm like, oh my goodness, she is just in that destructive phase. But do you wanna know what's so funny is I do still have a little bit of OCD, of course, but it used to be significantly <laughs> worse. And when it comes to like your kids, it is just so crazy how they can like challenge you and test you in ways that nobody else could because you love them so much. So I'm just like, yes, I want to die. And if someone else had broken my blinds, I would probably be freaking out. But because it was Blakely, I'm just like, well, it's fine. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> Look at this girl. Hi, Seth. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Hi, baby. Oh my goodness. She's like, Mama, give me all the attention. You're so cute. Do you want to come work with Mommy? Okay, let's go do some editing. What did you just ask me, baby? I asked Rachel if I could take her on a date here in the house and we can watch um, a movie and get takeout. And she said, yes. I literally told them that that's <laughs> what I wanted to do tonight. You're so cute. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Totally unprompted, you guys, I swear. No, truly, I was not forced into this. There was no coercion. <laughs> he really wasn't. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I've convinced this man to take me to Trader Joe's. Uh, I don't think you did. I think yes. you convinced me no. to take you to shake it. Both, honey, both. Sweetie. Let's not cut ourselves know, short. Yes, you can, doll, you can. We're definitely doing both. I've got my little nuggets eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> and Daddy just gave Beckham a feed. How did he do, by the way? Great. He, he did great? Half a container. Okay, half a container. You know what? Good job, Bubba. I'm so proud of you for doing your best. <laughs> and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that big smile. <laughs> she has a little bruise on her cheek. We don't know what happened, nothing new, but it looks like a little dimple, so I'm kind of living for it. What is daddy doing back there? Also, you guys, look at the little bun. I think I've mastered it. It even lasted through her nap. Incredible. You trying to reach the light? <laughs> I've got a ballerina or a figure skater. Oh, everything's okay. She loves her chicken. All right, guys, we got our shakes. We tried a new one today. It's Butterfinger. Phenomenal. So bomb. Yeah. Here's the trick with this place. I know that like <laughs> hardly any of you live in Utah, but if you do, you need to ask for just like way less ice because the ice takes away the flavor. So I know it's hard because it's not quite as thick, but it's still like thick. Mm. The Butterfinger has more ice than the other two. Yeah, it's definitely still thick. They're still using ice and mm -hmm. probably xanthan gum or something. My word, it's so good, you guys. Yeah. Okay, are we off to Trader Joe's? Mm -hmm. Perfect. We're mm -hmm. gonna go to Trader Joe's and then Costco. Or we could head home. I. No, we're going to Trader Joe's. Love you guys. You're such a homebody. <laughs> you guys, Hunter is obsessed with himself. No, I'm not. He's going, no, babe, turn that off. He's going through there. all of your comments and he's like <laughs> reading every single one that's about him. Listen, all of you are being so sweet to me and I was just asking 
you know, why Rachel still participates. He's like, Rachel, are you even in this video? Why doesn't I'm, anyone comment on <laughs> I it? was teasing Rachel, man. Now you have me all embarrassed. I'm kidding. I haven't let the fame go to my head. He has. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, number 100 <laughs> in cities famous. No, I'm not. But, stop. It's paparazzi. Stop. Num stop. Number two. He's following us. <laughs> number two. A hunter. Do you have my pen in case guys... someone for a signature? What? Like an autograph? Stop. <laughs> Number two, Hunter gets kind of a big head when you guys tell him he's so funny. No, he do I don't actually. What are you talking? What do I do? I'm so funny. He does. Okay, we have arrived at Trader Jays. And we made the executive decision, um, we as in me, that Rachel's gonna go in by herself. She's gonna run in and she has 30 seconds to go in a timer. And if she can't get the stuff she needs, I get to go back home. No. Nope. Timer's on. He's gonna wait in the car with Beckham and I'm gonna take Blakely in. <laughs> You guys, we've got some bad news. I just got home. Yes, I'm wearing Hunter's shirt. We were feeding the kids, getting ready to put them to bed, and Mr. Beckham, his food did not sit right. It did not sit right, and this is the aftermath. I won't get you too close, but unfortunately, yes, that is what you think it is. You guys can probably hear Hunter. He is so cute, best dad ever. He is playing with Beckham in the shower, getting him all rinsed off. I'm here with Blakers. We are going to deep clean this kitchen and get these little nuggets to bed. So I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna close out the vlog, say goodbye to you guys so I can get a handle on things. Yes, I know, I'm gonna be right there. Should we say bye-bye to our friends? Should we say bye-bye to our friends? I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we will catch you in the next video. Of course, we wanna remind you guys to be brave like Beckham and we'll see you soon. Bye.